Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Mania Season 2015. It's another Sunday in April and that, as always, means we're going to go another one-day classic. Today we're moving a bit north from uh, Belgium and France where we've been spending the last couple of weekends, moving to the Netherlands and the biggest Dutch one-day classic, the Amstel Gold Race. It's the first of the Arden Classics. On Wednesday we'll have the Festival on and on Sunday we'll have the biggest of them, the Monument, Lifts on the Edge. But this is a pretty funny um, profile as well because the climbs aren't really that steep but it goes up and hill the entire day and especially Kauberg or Valkenburg at the, fin at the finale are going to be a really uh, difficult finish line. I have loaded the list, I can't actually remember if there's been any changes to them to the race. Is this the new one maybe? MC, I don't know what MC stands for. I think I'm just going to be cowback here. And uh, let's check in on the other ones if there's anything different. I don't think there's anything different, honestly. Let's see, cowback. There is some difference here on the profile. I think I'll pick this one as, because the last one, uh, the MC one, is probably the one from last year. And I think the last one, last year, they had a lot longer flat section after the after cowback, which is why it ended up in kind of a mass print between 10 and 15 riders. Kwiatkowski, of course, winning last year. This year, I think I might go with Kwiatkowski's old team, Ethics Quickstep, and try and win it with Alaphilippe. They might actually go for this guy, uh, Peter Wackhock, the Czech rider, Czech champion, who's been doing really well this year. I have, of course, loaded the list of starters once again, but Alaphilippe uh, came out of nowhere last year, 23 years of age, 80 in health. I don't know if, if he'll be one of the favorites, but uh, I'll, I'll, I think I'll try my best with him, and hopefully we can get a good result in the Amstel Gold Race with Active Quick Step. Team looks as follows. We have some pretty strong teammates. Rockhart, Tony Martin, Mersmann, Jungus, Boy, and Pedersley, all plus 73. Uh, Martin Will is not that strong, but he can hang on for a long time as well. He'll probably be working in front of the belt on for most of this race. So let's just get into the race and hopefully we can win. Okay, we're going to the last 70 kilometers now. I have Tony Martin taking Julian Alaphilippe and then we have uh, Varkoc protecting Mersman. Already I missed something taking Varkoc, but you can see he's really, he's getting tired of the smallest climb. He's I, I think he's going to be one of the first riders to fall off. He has 75 hills and he just won, uh, what was it called, Romance Peel. Uh, Wednesday, I think it was. So he should be pretty good, but uh, he probably deserves an upgrade in this game. I have Siri, uh, Bui, and uh, Martin Velitz out in front for the entire state so far, uh, just keeping the breakaway in in distance. But this is a bit of flag section here, small dead climb here, and yeah, the pace is of course getting higher and higher now. Just trying to use the last bit of energy my teammates has. I don't think Ada Philippe is going to get much help. There is I think five or six riders with plus 80 hills that it was Kwiatkowski of course. I think he's the only one with 81 actually. Is that, am I right about that? No. Kwiatkowski is dead and Joaquim Rodriguez. 81 is the only one, only rider I think. Philip Sibert with 80. Well, of course that's 79 if I remember correctly. Then we have Simon Cherens. Ada Philippe of course. And I think that's it. Is there someone I'm forgetting about? The Kreuzer guy for 80 or something like that? Aru maybe? I think I just saw someone I, I, I missed before. But... Oh yeah, Daniel Moreno from uh, Movie Star, I think is the last guy I'm forgetting here. So let's see here, 40 kilometers to go, pace is still pretty high because nothing's really happening right now. Breakery up in front have broken in, in parts now. Mohorik and Brut have gone away from screens and Van der Sande, but it seems like the breakaway is going to get back together again. Burkhardt working for Philip Silver, of course. Varkoc is stunned. Uh, I think I might as well just forget about him now. I actually forgot a bit about getting water with Bob Dumoulis here. Can I get that before? Oh, it's a bit of bad timing before this steep climb coming up just around the corner here. Hopefully he can get back up again, but I think I just lost uh, Bob Jungels because I, was, I told him to get water here. I will not lose Tony Martin, he's doing a really great job uh, hanging in front of LFL Mersman as well. Can probably help me for a long time on top of that. Morix have gotten away solo now, probably Brut couldn't keep up anymore. 
and the other two, Gregwick Venons, have also been caught by the Peloton. We are coming up to the steepest of the climb in Kreutenberg in about 5 kilometers or so. It's Pukat leading out in front. Pukat isn't the strongest 70 hills, so it's not exactly a machine, but he's great on the flat roads, which is probably why a lot of people are struggling behind Bui, Vakoc, uh, and there goes Bob Jungels. He did try and close the gap back up again here, but I think he'll just join a group falling off slowly now. Hmm. Should probably just forget about water. I can probably get it. Isn't, isn't that a pretty bit flat section there? I should have waited on with water until after with Bob Jungels. But that's too late to uh, to discuss now. Now it's just about staying with the front group here. Siri, Burkhardt staying in front. Kwiatkowski in third position. Miesman far up front as well. All the favorites are sitting here. Roy Costa, Fliegen, a lot of the helpers fell off. It's Siri. Was setting a tough pace right now. He's plus five in day shape, which is why he's hurting a lot of riders. 27 man group here. That's a small group, honestly. Bauke Mulema moving up front now. I might just get Miesman back here. If it's a small group now, it should be pretty easy to get some water. Because there's a big gap here. Valka and Bustram. Tony Galopan caught behind. Any other. T I think most of the favorites were sitting up front. Samuel Santis. Lots of Jumbo is completely caught back. So, uh, uh, 82 Al Mundial. But every other favorite should be sitting up front here now. So the Martin cost him a lot of energy. Siri is done now soon. Now you should see the favorites moving up. It's Daniel Moreno now leading out. Okay, let's see who we have. 26 man group here. Yes, man, just getting water to my captain, Ale Philippe here, please. Okay, everybody important has water now. Let's see, Bump Jungels. Uh, I might as well forget about him. I think the breakaway uh, will be caught again here because they're using a lot of energy down here now. And there's no one really working up in front apart from the favorites themselves. Meanwhile, these guys down here have help us working for them. Oh, they just didn't make it. That must be devastating. They could almost touch them. On to Cowback here. The first time we can get a bit of a look of the climb here. Should see the Pelton catching up here again. Yeah, because it's so steep here, the Pelton merges together again. Almost. Moraine Rodriguez, the two former teammates from... Uh, what's it called? From, from Katusha. Of course, Moreno now moved to um, Movistar. Back to Movistar, I think. I think he used to drive there before. Uh, let's see here. Ella Philippe still sitting still. I don't really know if I should go with him or anything like that. I'm I am going a bit now, honestly. Okay, Kvitkovsky Silbert has closed the gap. Tom Dumoulin. Let's see his time trial uh, skills here. Hopefully he can close the gap and make this a little 10-man group here. Simon Gerrans, Rui Costa, Bauke Molema, Fiabaru is here as well, that's pretty impressive by him. We have lots of that leading crew up here, with Michael Matthews is a strong sprinter, if he can make it up the climb, he can do pretty well as well. Tony Martin has done a great job, Messman will probably not do much more, he's probably, yeah, it does actually look pretty good strength wise, but I just don't think he can, uh, he can win this race. I'll attack a bit here. I want to close that gap and get on the wheel of the front group here so we can so I don't have to. So I can maybe regenerate a bit of energy. Jorge Rodriguez dies out here. Yeah. Oh I can't catch them. Why, am I, why can't I catch them? I'm going so fast right now. Dropping everybody else, but these three riders, Moreno, Kwiatkowski, and Gilbert, Gilbert's driving so fast. He's Practically leading out, uh, what's it called? The other favorites here. We are <laughs> just merging from some riders who fell off a long time ago here. Simon Jaren. So I just pretty much reeled up Simon Jaren, uh, Roy Costa, and Tom Dumoulin. 
bit of downhill here, and now we're going up cowback again. This is going to be a seven flay scene for me. This is pretty poor, honestly. Eighty-five, and probably I can. I might just get a top five finish here. I am dropping Rui Costa again, but I think Simon Jones will take this win. I, I pretty much caught him back. No, Philip Silbert and Kwiatkowski will be pretty close. But Philip Silbert takes another Armstrong Ghost Race win. Kwiatkowski in second, Simon Jones in third. And outside of the podium in fourth place. Uh, I don't really know. Mesman actually comes in here. That's pretty impressive performance considering I didn't even sprint anything with him. But I think he got in like top 15 as well. So impressive by him as well. There comes Tony Martin. Bill Roy Costa, Michael Matthews, Daniel Moreno, uh, a lot of other, other favorites. Michael Matthews came in seventh place. A bit surprised that Simon Jones didn't win that sprint. Actually, more surprised that Philip Sibert won it because I consider him the weakest of those three in the sprint. So, yeah. Still pretty impressive performance by all three in front group. I just couldn't catch them. I was so close to uh, getting on the wheel. And if I got on the wheel at, at that attack there, I think, I think I could have ended up winning this race because I could have saved up energy just by sitting on the wheel of the front three or four. I mean, probably would have been ten, but I had a lot of energy left at the ten kilometer mark, and I had to use it all desperately trying to get back up. Just didn't happen. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like and comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done also already. I up upload three times a week. On top of that, I also upload every single World Tour race, so it might be several uploads daily if there's, for example, two World Tour races plus, uh, yeah, another video to be uploaded that day. So, upload a lot, uh, check out my series, and if you enjoy the videos, yeah, leave a like down below, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.